Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today I'm going to do a flip through of Splendid Cities Color Your Way to Calm by Rosie Goodwin and Alice Chadwick. It's about a 10 by 10 book. It's about that thick, maybe a little more than a quarter of an inch. I picked up this book from, it did come damaged, it's from Book Outlet. When you buy from Book Outlet, you are probably buying damaged books. Just something to keep in mind. There were big stickers on here. A kind of a medium sticker over here. I could not get the the, the residue off there. I'll, I'll work on it. People gave me tips, so I'll work on it. Um, this is a book about very kind of stylized or abstracted cities. Some of them are for me, some of them are not so much for me, but we'll look at it. We've got our title page there. The paper's um, medium thickness, I guess. It's not thin like Amazon paper, but it's not thick like maybe Johanna Basford or Kobe, Kirby Roseanne's paper either. We've got our This Book Belongs To page with lovely abstracted Castles? Maybe that's castle. I don't know for sure. There are things to find in here, but they're they're not like uh, some of those obnoxiously hidden object books. <laughs> Mythographic. Um, they're hidden in plain sight, and they blend in with the, the other artwork around on the page. So like these these dolphins are some of the objects you're supposed to look for, but they they're right there. They're not, they're, not doing, they're not trying to do anything too clever. That's just kind of obnoxious. So, so like I said, this is uh, very abstracted, sometimes zen doodly cities. And some are more abstracted or stylized than others. Some it's hard to figure out what's going on. Most of them not, though. This is the Eiffel Tower. Unfortunately, they put it right in the, right in the, the ditch of the book here. Maybe I generally break the spines of my books, but this book is winning. It's not wanting me to break it too much. So maybe over time it will loosen up a little bit. But this is a very cool picture. Many of them are really cool. These swans, maybe they're swans, I'm not sure, uh, are also a hidden object. But, you know, they're very much a, a nice part of the design. Clearly some different artists here with different styles. These are all two page spreads in this book. Like this is hard to, this is really hard to tell what's going on. I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that page. And yet this one is so nice and lovely. Can't wait to do that page. Just an FYI, I do talk through my flip through. So if you want to mute me, I'm not going to know the difference. It won't hurt my feelings at all. Please do so. I do like to flip kind of slowly so people have a chance to see. Again, one of those pages where it's hard to figure out what's going on. Very, very abstracted. They have great, some of these pages have really great op art. Optical illusion art, basically. And a very cool style of trees. Again, op art. I love the stylization here of the plant life. I do like the ones with the big, bold blackness to them. Maybe black lines or filled in parts that are black. I think it will make coloring just a little bit easier on some of those pages. You'll see what I'm talking about as we get through the whole book here. 
Maybe this is very Russia inspired. The architecture kind of reminds me of that. There are a few that have a bird's eye view, which seem interesting to me. I've seen people on YouTube who uh, do maps and things like that. I'll have to look at some of those videos, get some ideas. I think this is Cloud City. It's hard to tell, but maybe. I love the number five here. If I were doing this one, I would probably label this one 221B. If you know what that is, put it in the comments. I'm a big fan of that. Or 42. But I think for that particular page, 221B would fit well. Very cool. Again, the cool stylized trees. I really like those. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, I like these pages with the, the heavy black details. Something I don't have to color in. I get to work around. It kind of makes some decisions for you. This is a very cool cool picture. It's got really good depth. It's got like things in the foreground, middle ground, things way in the background, and then way, way, way in the background. I like pictures with good depth. Although this would take a long time to color. Very long time, I imagine. This one had me going for a little while. I, first I thought this was the ocean and these were like the sails of the boats. But then I'm like, no, this is the water here. So maybe that's land. I don't, I'm not sure. If you have any thoughts, put it in the comments. Again, one, another one of those pictures with a lot of black and a lot of decisions made for you. We'll just take away that, that little bit of coloring that makes it a little bit easier to do. Even though it's a book all about cities, there's definitely different styles to the line work. Again, one of those pictures, really hard to see what's going on. I don't think I'll be doing this picture. And who doesn't want to color a city with a roller coaster? That looks pretty cool. This is an interesting interpretation of a city as well. We got buildings that go this way, buildings that go this way, this way, and I don't know, I'm assuming the Ferris wheel is coming this way or it's just floating in the sky. The cars are also like going in all different directions. I feel like this is London. Like, is that maybe Big Ben? Isn't that those style of buses they have in London maybe? Or England? I don't know, if you know, Put it in the comments. Another bird's eye of kind of a busy neighborhood. We've got an airport, a basketball arena, oh, a swimming pool. Maybe it's a college. Nope, that's a hospital. Maybe just a city. This one reminds me of some area of the world I've seen in, only in movies. Um, maybe like, oh, I don't know, where would it be? Maybe the Middle East or Morocco or something. It's, I've, I've seen styled cities like this. I'm just, I'm not quite sure where. Something to research. Again, love the style of trees here. I do, like I said, I do really like the abstraction in this book. I love the uh, Asian-inspired page here. 
This one reminds me of San Francisco. I feel like this is a popular picture we've seen. We've seen a lot. I don't know if this is if this is it, but there's that drive from Arizona to California where you you go through miles and miles of wind turbines like this. I don't know if this is it. I think that's around Palm Springs. These don't look like Palm Springs houses. I think those are more like mid-century modern style, perhaps. But it's a cool picture nonetheless. Love this picture. The, oh, this cool 60s op art design in the background there. The bold op art here. I think that might be my first picture that I do in this book. Or some of the cool trees, I don't know yet. We've got a Circus City. My guess would be these are some of the objects you're supposed to find. The little seals. Are they seals, maybe? I can't figure this picture out. I know that's the Sydney Opera House, but... It, stuff is just like plunked down strangely. It's almost like it's discombobulated a little bit. Maybe it's all supposed to be on water. I don't know. If you have any thoughts on the matter, put it in the in the comments. I think maybe this is supposed to be like Mexico or South America even. We've got either Sugar Skulls or Day of the Dead designs there. This will be interesting to research as well. Is this supposed to be where you go to like snow ski? Is that a snow ski thing? I live in the desert where it doesn't really snow, so I'm not sure. <laughs> And this is probably Japan, <clears throat> excuse me, Japan would be my guess. I mean, we've got this as a clue. I like that we have this foreground, the city's the middle ground. Isn't that in Japan? And I think that's Mount Fuji. I could be wrong. This one's particularly interesting too. It seems like a futuristic city maybe. Or are these greenhouses? I don't know. All right. And it, it tells us where the answers are, but it doesn't tell us, oh, medieval city, rooftops, fantasy, Paris, city of stone. This says the... The one we didn't know what it was says Fun Fair. Oh, Art Deco. Stockholm. Amsterdam. An Adobe Village. Townhouses, Moscow. Countryside, high in the clouds. Doorways. That's where I want to put 221B. Imaginary Forest. Bombay. Oh, interesting. Skyscrapers, imaginary city, by the sea, a city beneath the waves. Ooh, interesting. Montreal, a treetop city, Grenada, futuristic city. That one was really hard to see. That's not, the, the, the explanation's not helping at all. An imaginary island, London, oh, I was right, London, a bird's eye view, city of domes, Istanbul, a monastery. Ooh, cool. San Francisco. I was right. By the sea. By the sea. Rio de Janeiro. Ooh, cool. A circus. Sydney. Mexico. I was right. An ice palace. Oh, okay. That's those little take you up to the top of the mountain things. Tokyo and a jungle. All right. Well, I guess pretty good. Okay, so that has been a flip through of Splendid Cities. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful day.
Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.